Okay, I have a pair of lady shorts and I'm going to turn it into a cute denim apron to work around the farm. The first thing I did was just cut down the side seams. So I have a front and a back. I'm fold this in half and you see that the crotch area is right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna sew a straight seam right down here. That way it will lay flat here instead of having this extra bulk. Okay, so I made that seam. I'm gonna trim off the excess. And so we have our front, and it's already got a hem on it. Now I do wanna round the corners because I actually wanna put a ruffle around it. So I'm gonna fold it back over. And I'm just going to cut a curve. So that's the lower part. Now I'm going to get the bib. The next strap could be made from the accent color, but this time I decided to cut a strip from a spare piece of denim that I had that was close to the color of these shorts. I fold the raw edges to the inside and sew, stitching on both sides of the strap. With this apron, um, these are women's shorts, and it had pockets on the side, so I thought I'd go with that pocket. And since I had this, you know, cut open, because this was where I separated it from the back, I decided for decoration, since I'm leaving this as a pocket, I thought I'd add a little accent here. So I just folded this under, folded it under, and I sewed that in. I was able to move this out of the way. And now I just have to sew right here to put this pocket back together. So we still have use of the pocket, and this puts a little accent color on the um, thing because I'm not going to add a pocket when we have pockets already. This is the zipper. <laughs> the zipper's still there. Um, I just attached it right there. And, and then I just add a little trim up top. I actually added some black lace too, because this is for a teenager. And so I didn't want it to be too frilly, but I want it to be something that she would probably like. I would like it myself. Okay, we're gonna, um, we have two thirds of the fabric and we are going to cut it into strips. First of all, I wanna fold it the long way. And then we want to fold it in thirds. Just want to try to get it even. You fold it in thirds. And stick our scissors in here. And we're going to cut this into strips. No, I'm not measuring, I'm just, this is just a quick way of doing things. Okay, now we have our strips. We're going to use two of them for the straps, for the apron, and the rest, we're gonna use a little bit of one to trim some pockets, and the rest of them is going to be sewn end to end to make a ruffle. And it's probably a little more than necessary. So if you want to do a little extra embellishment with, say, one of these straps, that would be fine. You still have, you'll still have one, two, three end to end, and that'll be plenty to make a good ruffle. 
because um, with these four, it'll actually be a little less than four, it um, goes around the apron like twice. So it's like double the amount. You really you only need about one and a half times around. So that there, you, you could actually eliminate one of these and then you could have, use that whole thing for extra embellishments on the apron. The ruffle strips were sewn together end to end using French seams to make sure the ruffle has no raw edges. If you do not know what that means, see my previous video on converting a skirt into an apron where I show you and explain how that is done. I also tapered the, the beginning and end of the ruffle so that it would gradually be thinner near the waistline. I explained that in my other video as well. I finished off both sides of the ruffle, the top long edge and the bottom long edge by folding over the raw edges twice and stitch them down. And don't forget to press the ruffle before you gather and attach it to the skirt as part of the apron. I did not want to fold the already thick denim over making it even thicker because remember it already had a finished edge, so I decided that this ruffle will be attached on top of the denim, which is why I finished off the edges prior to attaching to the skirt. To gather the ruffle, first I made two rows of basting stitches, about a quarter inch apart, maybe a little less, near the top of the ruffle, leaving about a half inch above the top seam, sort of like the top of a curtain for rod pocket curtains. It adds to the style. I kind of consider this type of ruffle to be a retro design. I use pins to place the ruffle in place. As I pull the threads, the fabric gathers. Then I wrap the excess thread around the pins to secure the threads from slipping and just continue pinning, working around the apron, trying to get the ruffle as evenly distributed as I can. This part does take a little time, but it's well worth it for the finished product. As you can see, I used two strips of the accent fabric for the apron ties attached to the waistband, one on each side. I used a denim buckle for one side of the apron. I like to put them on the left side since most people are right-handed and that way it's easier to hook them on and undo it, but if you're doing it for a left-handed person, you might decide, consider putting it on the right side. This apron was a custom design for a specific person, so I monogrammed her name on the pocket and also added an applique for design. So here's the finished product. Isn't it cute? Please subscribe to see more projects like this. Thanks for watching!